Well, you finally made it. Investing hundreds of thousands of dollars, you've landed in your very own luxury high-rise condo. But there's only one problem. Your neighbor smokes like a chimney. So what, if anything, can you do about it? Julie Watts has more on the Consumer Watch. It's one of the crown jewels of downtown San Jose's redevelopment. The Access, a luxury residential high-rise. Oh, man, it's still smelly. But Yoka Masada must don a particulate mask to take us on a tour of her unit. You have to use the flashlight here. Come in. She's temporarily moved out because she says every time her neighbor lights up, her condo fills with smoke. You would see smoke like twisting like a fog out of these lights. And she says it's been going on since she bought the unit last summer. Many times I slept here on the floor and based like this so I could breathe fresh air. We see a very clear indication that there is secondhand smoke. There's an open space in there. Stanford researcher Neil Kleppis set up a smoke monitor in Yilka's unit that generates a daily chart. So we can see this very high peak of particulate matter, which has a pattern of every day when the neighbor comes home. His findings? They're approaching uh, uh, the levels that you would see if you went into a smoky casino. And he says it can linger at high levels for up to 12 hours. It's just a nightmare something that I would have never thought exists anywhere, not in this brand new high-rise building. We checked with the San Jose Planning Department and the access high-rise is built to code. But current code requirements don't prevent this kind of smoke seepage. And while Yilka's is an extreme case, this recent UC Berkeley study finds that no matter how much sealing or ventilating you do, there's no way to completely prevent smoke from seeping into a unit. There are no ventilation standards that have been invented yet that can protect you from your neighbor's smoke. And that's why health advocates like Serena Chen at the American Lung Association promote smoke-free housing. There is a high demand for this. But Paul Zeger with Pacific Marketing disagrees. Today, there is no premium for a smoke-free building. He handles sales for the Access Building and dozens of other luxury high-rises all over the Bay Area. If you live in an urban area, you don't live in a bubble, you're going to be exposed to things. When it seeps out of their condo and trespasses into my unit, I think I have breathing rights in my own apartment, in my own condo. I walked into this woman's apartment, and were it a hotel room that I was staying in, I would have walked out, walked up to the front desk, and said, I'm done. It truly smells like an ashtray. Uh, I understand that, and I'm not saying that you have the right to smoke. I'm saying there's a dilemma. He says until cities make it illegal for people to smoke in apartments or condos. If you don't want to live in that environment, if that information's been disclosed to you and you say, you know, I can't tolerate this, then your choice is to move out. But for Ilka, why not move? Why not sell your unit? Uh, it's a crime to sell this unit to anybody. I can't do that. Now, the access owners turned down our request for comment, but they have moved Yilka into a much smaller temporary unit, and they offered to try and fix the problem. Yilka, however, wants access to give her a comparable smoke-free unit or buy hers back. Unfortunately, her only legal recourse seems to be a nuisance suit against her neighbor, who also declined an interview. But Yilka says, listen, she doesn't blame her neighbor. She blames the building. And I have to tell you, I've lived next door to smokers. I have never experienced anything like what's going on in this condo. We will definitely have more for you tomorrow night at 6. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad that there's a follow-up. Thank Absolutely. you.